Hi, I'm Natasha Stokes, editor of Mobile Choice Magazine. Today, we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, an Android honeycomb tablet with so much going on, we've actually got two sets of Nifty Tricks videos for it. In this one, we're checking out its computer-like features that make it as great an entertainment gadget as a business device. If you're writing an email and you need to check your calendar appointments, you don't actually need to switch out of your email app into the calendar app to see what's going on. When you're in email, you can just hit the mini tray found at the base of every screen and open up the mini calendar app, which then displays as a small calendar on top of the email screen so you can check out your weekly agenda. This mini tray works in any app, so you can just tap here to open up, uh, say, the pen memo to make a small note, the calculator to do a quick sum, or simply just switch tracks on your music player. This feature gives the Galaxy Tab 10.1 some serious desktop-like powers because you can actually have two apps open at the same time on the same screen. And that's nifty trick number one. Because it's an Android Honeycomb tablet, the Galaxy Tab 10.1 has access to the full lineup of Google services, including some pretty cool location-based apps. Let's head into Google Maps. There is now a new map view that gives you a 3D view of central London. Just zoom in when you're in the area, and you'll see the buildings around you begin to take on a 3D shape. It's quite a cool view of the city. Google Maps also works with a separate navigation app, which gives you turn-by-turn -turn voice directions to wherever it is that you need to go. You can also hit places to check out restaurants, pubs, ATMs, or other points of interest that are nearest to your current GPS location. Or hit the latitude icon here to see which friends are closest to you right now. This only works for friends who've actually signed up to Latitude as well, of course. Then there's Google Talk, an IM app that lets you chat to friends, and more recently started supporting video calling, making use of the Galaxy Tab 10.1's front-facing 2 megapixel camera. You can start a video chat with any of your contacts that have this video icon next to their name, like my friend Scott. So I just tap on his contact, hit the video icon, and I am now starting a video chat with him. And he's picked up. And here's Scott on video chat. And that is Nifty Trick number two. The Galaxy Tab 10.1 is as good for entertainment apps as it is for business ones. The Polaris Office app, for example, is a great one that lets you work with documents, spreadsheets, and slideshows. And it supports all the popular file formats, including Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, PDFs, and Excel. It also syncs to the Box.net online storage service, so you can access files you've stored online to work with on your tablet. You can add more than one Box.net account too, say for work files and personal files. Hit local storage, and you'll be able to check out all the files on the tablet. And within this bit, you can also move files around to different folders on the tablet. And that's tip trick number three on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Ah!